Hello, my name is Dennis. I'm the stop front end engineer on Create Editor team. And today I'd like to talk to you about CSS and refactoring. At the moment, we have several uh, efforts and targeting uh, refactoring and getting away from the bootstrap utilities, bootstrap CS uh, utility classes to GitLab UI classes. And now I would like to show you an example that shows one hard to notice gotcha that might actually lead to a lot of visual regressions. And in the light of our recent uh, quali code quality um, discussions, I think this is quite essential to share this information. So we are on a merge request where we have this tabs. The tabs have these pages, right? So the interesting thing is that uh, they are shown only on the screens that are bigger than the small screen. So and the small screen in Bootstrap world is defined by the uh, width of 576 pixels. So if we look at this screen on 576 pixels width, the badges are here. If we go one pixel down, the badges are gone. And some other elements have been changed because a lot of elements are connected to this um, breaking point, right? So in the Bootstrap world that we try to migrate away from, the um, breakpoint of 576 pixels is pretty important. Now, when we migrate and refactor things to uh, GitLab UI, the thing is that in the GitLab UI world, we are dealing with, not with pixels, but with RAMs, uh, REMs. And uh, this is a bit different uh, value. And this is where the difference is. So let's try to convert these, these badges to the GitLab UI world. If you take a look here, so we have selected the first badge on the overview tab. This, um, uh, if we go, go down and hide it, we will notice that this is the style that um, tells us that we have to hide the badge on the screens with the max width 576. So 576 is the last screen where the uh, badges have to be hidden. The problem is that due to some uh, internal differences in different browsers, this might happen either at 575, since this number is not uh, strictly 576. In, a, in, what, in some browsers, it might happen at 575. It might, in mo some browsers, it might happen at 576. So we're looking at Brave, that is Chromium-based. Uh, and here, 575 still hides the badge. And this is the maximum width where the badge is hidden, 575. Now, this style is driven by this badge pill class. Let's remove this badge pill class as if we would do for uh, when we refactor to the GitLab UI classes, for example. So we remove this one, the badge is here, but we say GL display none, the badge is gone, and we have to say that from the small size on, we have to actually render the badge. So I will just reply, oops, uh, say GL display, GLSM, display inline block. So if we take a look at 576, the badge is here. However, now this style is driven by the style coming from uh, this GLSM display inline block class that is supplied to us by GitLab UI. So 36 REMs. We have seen that this transition went smooth 
and without any issue, right? So we, uh, before this replacement, this, this kind of refactoring, uh, the badge has been shown at 576. And now when we're using the GitLab UI class, it happens at exactly the same breakpoint. Watch this carefully. If we go into the settings of our browser and let's say we increase the font size. So you see all the font size have been increased and large in this system in Brave means the base font size now is 20 pixels. And we go back to our page, you see the font size has been increased, but our page is not here. The classes are still here. The badge is not here. Okay. Maybe again, that thing, that issue with the rounding of the numbers. Let's go to 577. Nope. 578. Nope. We have to go now with, uh, with the increased font size to as uh, far as 721 in order for the badge to show up. And uh, this is pretty dramatic change comparing to the previous implementation. That's why I left the neighboring badges uh, intact so that we would see the difference. The badges that were implemented, that have been implemented with bootstrap classes are already here at as early as 576, um, right? However, our uh, GitLab UI driven uh, badge isn't here yet. So this is a very important point to keep in mind when you're refactoring the bootstrap classes to GitLab UI classes. Please make sure you check your refactorings on with the screen, with the um, settings where the base font size is different from 16 pixels because REM value is calculated based on that base font size set in your browser. GitLab UI supplies REMs, Bootstrap, uh, uh, GitLab UI is based, the breakpoints in GitLab UI are based on REMs, the breakpoints in uh, the Bootstrap are based on the pixels. That's, uh, that's pretty dramatic difference and we have to keep in mind this when we do factor from the bootstrap classes to the GitLab UI classes. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.